So, welcome back to a new video. In this one, I was thinking that I would show some behind the scenes of a previous campaign that I was working on. Not really previous, it was actually a year ago, but I do have some behind the scenes footage from it, so I think it would be nice to show how it looked um, in the camera, behind the camera, but also how the final results looked like. We made one bigger hero version, and then from that we made uh, for uh, shorter videos as well. One that was focusing on uh, the people, one that was like on transport, one was on the service aspect, and then another one, which I don't remember now. I reached out to a company and I worked directly with them, so there was no agency or no production company in between. It was a big project, so it was a lot of stuff to get done. I shot the whole thing myself, mainly everything on an easy rig and with my red camera. We did some shots inside the car and some shots on a tripod as well, and also some drone shots for that. So I was thinking I'm gonna play some of the hero video and then we jump into the, some of the behind the scenes stuff. So. Enjoy. Bilen. För vissa är den där lilla extra. För många ett måste. För de flesta krävs den för att ens börja lägga livspusslet. Och varje dag är den skillnaden mellan liv och död för någon. Oavsett vem du är och varför du är på väg. So as you can see here, it's a good mix of footage, uh, a bit of everything. You can see some of the, the dealership, you can see some of the um, service families, you see the electricity, you see some new cars, you see some old cars. The idea with this um, was to cover the whole spectrum of like all the customers who want to show that this company is open for, for everyone. And the message is that they are providing the car for the people, for the companies, for the uh, taxis for the ambulances and everything but the people behind it that are using the car are the ones who are the real heroes. Till alla som på något sätt är på väg. Det är för er skull vi åker till jobbet varje dag. Upplandsmotor för en mer hållbar väg framåt. All right, so that was the long version. Um, let's jump into some of the behind the scenes footage from it and then we can see how it looks behind the camera but also how the end results look like. All right, let's start with this ambulance shot. We had this ambulance for like one, two hours so we didn't have that much time to work with it. So we needed to be quick and create some good stuff with it. As you can see here, uh, it's me and I'm trying to get some shots of the uh, reflection in the window. It didn't end up in the in the cut, but here are some of the shots that we did use. And then we took some shots on this highway in Stockholm. We found a location that was like pretty close to it, but a bit above, so you can get like a nice view over it. So the idea I had in mind was to get like a nice overview shot and then like a quick zoom in transition, which you can see here. And I'm using the 70 to 200 millimeter Canon lens. Okay, on to the next one. This is a fairly simple shot. It's just me following this food delivery. Nothing crazy, just super simple. Here are some shots that we took from inside of the car. So I actually rigged up the tripod in the back seat, as you can see here. I shot the whole thing on this uh, super wide lens, I think it's seven to 15 millimeters. And then we just drove around for like five, 10 minutes. And I think it worked out well. And we cut it in a way so it actually was jumping from different uh, scenarios or different locations and in timing to the music as well. And then we had one video focusing more on family and here's a shot when you can see um, the kids running towards their dad coming home from work and then also we wanted to end that video with a nice uh, family dinner table at the evening so we shot the whole thing from outside we tried to use all natural lights and make it just dark outside and just have like a lovely family dinner in there so in this project we used a lot of natural light we did have some extra light here and there, 
but since it was like such a small crew and we had like six and seven days and I produced it and had to fix this and that, I thought the main thing was to focus on the, getting all the aspect in there. I think this was a budget question and also timing. We didn't have that much time to spend on all different locations, so we need to be quick. And if you're gonna use a lot of lights, it takes a lot of time as well. But if I would wanna do this project again and make it even better and even bigger, if I would have a bigger budget as well, then I think uh, the lightning is the, um, the way to go, definitely. And here we have a shot where you can see the dad who's uh, dropping off his kids at school. And then also I had a picture in mind that I want to get this shot where you can see the kids running towards the school and you can actually shoot it like in and out of the car and then you, you see the kids running in the background and you see the car in the foreground and while they're running you can actually see the car driving away from there. It was a bit tricky to time this thing because there were a lot of aspects to keep in mind. So first thing you need to have the kids running and it just needs to look good. You want to have them in the the position you want and also you want to time it with the car so everything needs to click and be at the same moment that you want it and this was the same idea shooting through the car I think we actually did a couple of these shots maybe I have like four or five different shots in throughout all these videos that had this way because I wanted to show that um, all these family things or life things going on out there but I still wanted to have like the car in the foreground so the car should always be kind of a little bit in the frame in the background or in the foreground but it's not going to be the the main thing or the, the hero thing that I want uh, the viewer to focus on. Basically from the time we had, the budget we had, I think we made something really nice here and I'm actually very happy with the result. It was a big project for me, myself, to take on, but I think I did a good job and I think I delivered to the client. When we started talking about this, me and the client, I was actually involved from the very beginning. I could sit down with them, I could drop my ideas, I could think of how I wanted to, I could find the music, which persons, which locations, what characters. And so I could actually take my vision and my idea and make it happen. I think that is a good thing when you're working directly with the client. Sometimes when you're working with a production company or an advertising agency, they, it, it could be that they are coming up with an idea and you're just coming in when you need to shoot and edit and then also they could have feedback or stuff in the edit that they want to change. So when you're working directly with a client, you are involved from the very beginning to the very end and you can make sure that your vision sticks through this whole process. And I'm happy with the shot that we got and the idea was to of course, we want to show that this company is selling cars, but that shouldn't be the main thing. We want to talk about life in general, and the cars should only be a tool for people. And uh, I think that came across. So I'm happy with the results. I guess that's it for today. So if you enjoyed this video in any way, I hope you liked it and I hope you subscribe to the channel and you will see more of this in the future. And hopefully I can bring some value and you will learn something from this. So I'll see you in the next one and thank you for watching today.